been wanting to do this video for so long. I haven't really seen a whole lot of people talk about this particular product on YouTube or on the internet. And I've just been really wanting to do this video. It was constantly in the back of my head and so I decided to finally sit down and record this. And this is kind of my experience with cystic acne and how I got it under control. I've never had problem, problems with acne as a teenager. I've never had really bad breakouts. I always had pretty decent skin. I would have a breakout here and there, but it was never anything, you know, bad that I need or that I thought I needed treatment for. That continued on until about two years ago. I would have been. 26 I think it was around when I was 26 years old and I just started getting horrible horrible acne not just pimples that you can squeeze and go away they're like they were cystic um, nasty painful red bumps that you wouldn't be able to squeeze now that I'm looking at these pictures that I took a while ago it's striking how bad it really was I think I forgot just how horrible my face looked and just looking back at them it was just it was kind of eye-opening. They just kind of came on suddenly, randomly. I, um, I didn't know why. First I thought it was something temporary. I thought maybe I got an infection from using it, you know, sharing a br makeup brushes or something like that. And it turned out that it wasn't that. It wasn't bacteria. It wasn't an infection. It was just cystic acne and it just all of a sudden started developing it. It was mainly on my cheeks and my and my chin. It lasted for probably a year and a half. I didn't know what to do. I went through all these, you know, ideas of what it could be. I didn't change anything drastically in my makeup, you know, the products that I use, so I ruled that out. It wasn't my skincare. I washed my face very, very, very well. So I knew that it wasn't that. Um, a lot of people say, oh, well, if you wear a lot of makeup, you will develop acne. And that is not the case. That's only true if you don't really take care of your skin, if you don't wash and clean it properly. And I've always made it a point to do that. I never go to bed with my makeup on or anything like that. So when that happened, I started going through all the typical things that, you know, anyone would try. I started changing um, you know my clean, cleansing products and my makeup products to make sure that I use you know more natural things. I wash my face really well. I finally went to a dermatologist because you know I figured that it's something that needed you know professional treatment and I was of course prescribed the typical uh, Differin I think this is the um, cream that I was prescribed. After reading a lot about it I knew that it would, it's a product that makes things worse before it gets better so they say that you have to continue using it even though your skin you know kind of freaks out and then um, after a while it's supposed to get your acne under control and that did not work for me it did make my skin even worse but the kind of the positive results never came so that just made me so frustrated I used about half a tube of this and I just dropped it because um, it just didn't work for me at all my skin was really really angry I just didn't know what to do and then finally <laughs> One day, my sister texted me and she's like, hey, crazy idea, you should try this thing for your acne on your face. I realized how crazy this sounds. This is Desitin. For those of you that don't know, this is a um, baby diaper rash cream. And so this is what you would put on your baby's butts to get their diaper rash under control. And I thought it was crazy, but I'm like, whatever, I'll try anything at this point. I've tried everything and nothing helps, so I'll give it a shot. So I went ahead and bought this. This is the, you know, the normal one. They have the extra strength, which you can try, but that one smells so bad. So I just got the regular one and, um, oh my gosh. <laughs> so basically this cream started getting my acne under control within a matter of days. What I did, I would just squeeze out a little bit. It's a white cream. It doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't smell at all. It's very, very uh, like emollient, so it's very, very creamy. You know, as you can see, it's very white. And so I just started putting it kind of all over my face, as you'll see in the pictures. And what I did, because I worked every day, so I couldn't just walk around and with, with this on my face. I put it when before I went to bed at night, and um, I slept with it. The bad thing about this, the kind of uncomfortable and annoying thing is that it doesn't absorb into your skin so um, it will rub off on your you know night or bed sheets and your pillowcases. So what I would do is just even put a towel on the pillow or you know a, a paper towel or something like that so that it doesn't get bedding dirty but I would just sleep with it 
for like days on in a row. I'm telling you, within a matter of days, I started seeing my acne just kind of getting better. It, it's not going to get rid of anything overnight, but it will noticeably improve your acne in a matter of days. Now the main active ingredient of this desiccant is zinc oxide, and this has 13% of it in um, you know, this tube, and it says that it's a skin protectant. I don't know how it works, I don't know what it is about zinc oxide that um, helps acne. I did also um, add some things to my skincare routine to improve it. After reading a long time, uh, after reading a lot of things, I um, learned that this apple cider vinegar is something that's really, really good for your skin. Um, a lot of people say, and it's pretty much a consensus, that your skin starts breaking out where uh, there's an excess oil production and that causes your pores to clog and that causes these bumps and breakouts and acne. What I've learned is that apple cider vinegar is something that balances out the pH level of your skin. So if your skin produces too much oil, it'll, it'll balance it out and tone it down. If your skin is too dry, it'll also balance it out and make it you know, more moisturized. Before I ever even started using this, I started using apple cider vinegar and what I would do is would take half uh, equal parts, so equal parts apple cider vinegar, equal parts water. I would put it on a cotton ball um, and just tone my face with it and I did this every morning and every night before I went to sleep. It does not smell good, it stinks very very bad, it smells like stinky socks and my poor husband had to put up with me smelling like that every night when I went to bed but I didn't even care because you know I really believe that this helps. Ever since I started doing this, I have not stopped. However, I will say that the apple cider vinegar alone did not make my acne better. It simply kind of served to balance out my oil levels in my skin, but did not get rid of my acne. I didn't notice my acne going away until I started using um, this desiccant. Also, what I invested in is a Clarisonic. I don't think a Clarisonic cologne will clean your skin or you know get rid of acne for you, but it does kind of make sure that you, your skin is you know cleansed really well. If you wear a lot of makeup, especially, I would definitely recommend that you invest in a really good brush. And so far, the Clarisonic is what I've kind of had a chance to try, and I really really like it. However, this product right here is the thing that saved my skin. And for the longest time, um, I didn't know. I, I don't know what it is about zinc oxide that you know, works miraculously with your skin and gets rid of the acne. Until we moved to St. Pan and we went to this random Asian little store when they had some shampoos and soaps and toiletries and I found this. And some of you may have seen this, but I've never seen this back in the States. And this is Sulfur Zinc Oxide Soap. And it's by, the brand is Dr. Kaufman. It says medicated sulfur soap. Treatment for common skin problems, anti-acne, anti-lice, and anti-scabies. Scabies? Scabies? I don't know. When I saw this, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's zinc oxide. That's exactly what I was using, you know, in desitin. And I kind of freaked out and got really excited because it confirmed, you know, what I've kind of already known, that zinc oxide really does help skin. And I don't know why other people aren't talking about it and creating products that's packed with zinc oxide so you could get rid of acne. I'm not really sure why. But this thing just kind of reinforced that zinc oxide really is the ingredient that in desitin that's helped help me get rid of my acne. I've been using this soap um, for the past probably two weeks and what I would do is I would wash my face in the morning, you know, lather it on my face and I would leave it for two to three minutes for it to dry and kind of absorb and then I would just rinse it off and I do the same thing at night after I've washed all my face and removed all my makeup. My skin right now, it is so, so much better than it was before. I still have breakouts every now and then. I still have, you know, like pimples that pop up every so often, but it is nowhere near where it was two years ago. I don't have cystic acne. If I do, I would have like maybe one or two pimples. And as soon as I see it, I would either put desitin on it and it gets it under control. And I never had another series of breakouts since I discovered this. My skin is by no means perfect right now, but it is so, so much better. It really is like a really kind of heartbreaking thing to go through because I, I mean, I would cover it with makeup pretty well, but it would, you could, it would still show through and you would still be pretty visible and I'm fine. I mean, I, it wasn't really traumatic or anything for me, but for some people that have this for a long time, I can only imagine how difficult it is. 
to um, just live life, you know, with these, you know, your entire face covered in red bumps. I'm just glad that I found something that controls it, that kind of got a, a hold of it and stopped those crazy breakouts that I've had. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. And if any of you have horrible, horrible acne, just give this a shot. Um, it's not bad for you. It's not. It's not gonna harm your skin. Never had any kind of irritation, pain, or any problems after using this, but I really, really, really think that it will help. Give it a shot for a week. I would say even three days. After three days, you will notice improvement. That's how crazy it is. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it helps. Um, if you guys have any comments, if you've heard about this, or if you've tried any other products that helped with cystic acne, Give me, um, you know, write a comment down below and let me know what those were. If you end up trying this and it works for you, or maybe if it doesn't, also comment down below. I'd love to hear your guys' experiences. But give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video. Please come back again for more videos coming up soon. Thanks. Bye.